<laughs> it's Saturday night, gotta get started early. But what are we talking about today? We're talking about my favorite headset. A lot of people have been asking, Doc, what headset are you using? Why haven't you showed us? And when the hell are you going to do a review on it? Well, I've already done a review on the HPA2, these guys right here. But today is more of a, <clears throat> I don't know, a throwback to it. We're going to go and explain why I still think this is one of the best headsets on the market and why I think you should go pick one up, especially if you're thinking about the competitive side of things. Headset, sound whoring is a big deal. And as lame as it might sound, you know, the headset will put you above the competition. That's for damn sure. So let's get right into this. These are the HP A2s. They are, you know, fairly big, but as far as weight goes, they're perfect. You know, I really don't notice them, and I play for extended periods of time, and you're not going to notice any sort of fatigue by wearing it on your head, and you're not going to get restless and try to move it off your ears and such. The ear cups are nice and big. They uh, have a nice diameter to them, but you know one thing I wish they could improve on is just sound, you know, outside sound. You know, it leaks out a lot. So, you know, compared to the Sennheiser 350s and even the Sennheiser HD 550s, which I would really love to try, tipsy, um, <laughs> uh, they just don't cut outside noise that good. But, you know, let's... Let's cut to a more in-game kind of explanation as to why this headset is so effective. Alright, so my goal here is to give you a more visual representation of what I'm talking about. Anytime I evaluate a headset or give it a review, one of the major things that I focus on is the 360 degree 3D positioning. Now sounds are going to come from a variety of angles and positions based on where you're looking and where the enemies are coming from. One of the hardest things for headsets to get right is the angles and the 3D positioning on the 8, the 10, the 2, and the 4 o'clock positions. Now these are the hardest to really nail down, especially when you're using a stereo headset. That's why I believe the HPA 2s are one of the best headsets on the market is because they're not a stereo headset. They are a true 5.1 surround sound headset. They have four speakers in each ear. They're able to deliver you very clear 3D positioning as anybody's moving along throughout the map and I'll just kind of clarify this here. Now when Midget's moving around me in a circle I have a very clear idea of where he is without even looking at him. The headset is that definitive with the sounds and the 3D positioning that I can pinpoint him exactly where he is any time on the revolution. So now that you kind of seen a more visual representation of the HPA 2s in action, how it works with the 3D positioning and how well it works, let's talk about their major competitor. Obviously the Astro A40s are, you know, seen in the community as the best out there. Yes, they're a good headset. But, you know, for the price point where you can get the HPA 2s at, I think you're getting a much higher quality headset. But you know, you're not able to use these particular headsets at MLG events, so that's where the HPX with the Astro Mix Amp comes into play, and even the Astros, you know, are just, you know, a more used headset at events and stuff like that. So, you know, if you are looking to pick up a great headset for online play, and you're looking to dominate the competition, the HPA 2s are by far, you know, my best pick. Like, realistically, I've tried almost every headset out there. Well, not really, but I've tried all the mainstream top-end headsets. And I can't play it with anything else other than the HP A2s. They're just such a great headset to me. But I'd really like to get my hands on the HD 550s. Those uh, are some bad boys. So, I hope this kind of give you guys an insight into, you know, what my headset is, why I like it. If you have any questions, I am going to do a... Uh, Competitive Gaming Audio asked me to do a uh, basic, you know, troubleshooting video to help with, you know, setup issues and stuff like that. And if you're looking to order a set of these, 170 bucks with the mix amp, with all the connectors to make it work for the Xbox. 
Yeah, that's a really good price. Considering in Canada to get the Astros up here is 370 to 390 bucks. It's not so great. <laughs> Damn not. So anyways, you know, got any questions? I'm always here. Holiday Doc, I'm out of here.